What is the most effective body type to have in mixed martial arts? I've heard it reiterated that everyone is built for fighting as long as you pick up a style that works for your physique. If you're tall and lanky, you're going to try to maintain distance, throw a lot of kicks, teeps, jabs, because that's where your best is on the outside. And obviously, if you're shorter, more compact and muscular, you're going to want to close the distance. You're going to want to clinch. You're going to want to fight in close. You're going to want to possibly look for takedowns. And if you're more in between the two, you're going to want to blend those two styles together, which works great. All three of these styles work great. But I believe that I have the definitive answer to what is the best body type for MMA. I truly believe this body type completely puts the rest to shame. I think the rest of them all need serious buffs from the devs. I think this one is overpowered, and I think it is extremely effective. Without a doubt, the undefeated, undisputed, best, most effective body type for mixed martial arts is the My Brother's a Pharmacist body type. I mean, come on, was there ever any doubt? The Kamaro Usman, the Francis Ngannou, the Yoel Romero body, that body that's super jacked, super low body fat, pretty much 100% impossible to maintain naturally, especially in a sport where you're not lifting weights for aesthetics, but somehow they're still looking like that. Those traps that are so massive, it lowers your own testosterone just by looking at them. I mean, I really do not believe there is a debate here. I mean, I will take the Usman body over the Sean O'Malley body any day. Those cardio for days, those bulging chest muscles the little tiny legs but that helps him make the weight so it's perfect i'd even lump john jones into this category as well I mean, he's got the really small legs but his upper body was massive at his light heavyweight days and unfortunately for him he's in this category only because usada actually released his test results so guys like more plates more dates can go in there and analyze it and basically prove 100 percent he was on steroids unlike a lot of these other guys who test positive because they don't do that anymore you know i guess now that i think about it unless Unless you're at heavyweight, you kind of want that Joe Swanson body. When you're at heavyweight and you don't really have an upper weight limit, well, you, you can have the big upper body, big lower body. But a lot of these guys have little legs, but just jacked upper bodies. And I think that really helps them make the weight and stay being massive. Lucky for you guys, this body type isn't purely genetic. Even if you're super skinny, all you have to do is hop on trend, hop on test, and you can look this way. You can look like your favorite athlete. But just to be absolutely 100% clear and transparent, I am not making the claim that any of these fighters listed are on steroids. The only claim I am making is that it is near impossible to achieve the physique they have without taking steroids. So do with that information what you will. So yeah, if you can become elite at all of your martial arts skills while at the same time looking like you can step on stage at Mr. Olympia, then you're doing something right.